Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about why music might not be your friend in getting things done, and alternatives like silence and white noise might supercharge your work. Have you ever wondered why you get more work done on an airplane? I remember one time I had no music on a plane and I was really frustrated as I got on board. But then when I cracked open my laptop, all of a sudden I was rocking and rolling. I mean, I was filling out emails, I was writing drafts to articles, I was checking out research for the blog, ideas were coming a mile a minute. And by the time that four hour flight landed, I felt like I had gotten a day's worth of work done. When that plane landed, I decided to find out more, more about why I was so focused during that flight. And what I learned is that silence or white noise happens to be far more effective at activating our energy towards our work than music and podcasts. Why is that? Well, simply music with lyrics and podcasts have us focusing on content. Our brains can only focus on one thing at a time. So when I had the opportunity to sit on that plane with absolutely zero distractions and that silence plus the white noise of that airplane rolling, it was a supercharge for me to get things done. How do you get into flow? Well, flow requires concentration. You can't be distracted by anything else. So whenever you have something like music or podcasts, Generally, you're looking for the lyrics, you're trying to figure out what lyrics mean, and all that stuff happens in the background and your mind's cranking, even though you're trying to focus on one thing. So when you're focusing on one thing, you're really focusing on two or three. Flow only happens when it is quiet. You have to have the concentration available to make that happen. So what's the difference between silence and white noise versus music? The difference is lyrics and our brains needs to decipher puzzles. Lyrics have puzzles, podcasts have puzzles. If they didn't have puzzles, they wouldn't be compelling. Content is only compelling if there's a reason for us to try to solve it. Think about it this way. If somebody made music on how you got home at night, you wouldn't listen to it. The lyrics wouldn't be interesting. Oh, I take a left to the thing and a right to the thing, then I go upstairs to my apartment. It's not compelling. But if you have music full of metaphor and symbolism, uh, now you're interested. So that's the difference between white noise and silence versus podcasts and lyrics. Well, with white noise and silence, you're not listening to anything. There's nothing intriguing. You're kind of in a corner, backed up and focused on the work. Then magic can happen. What are distractions? Distractions aren't just music and podcasts. Distractions can be someone tapping on the shoulder. Distractions can be odd noise in the background. Distractions can be any number of things that pull your attention. That's the reason why that plane is so effective. When you're on a plane, there's almost zero distraction. Things are just set the way they are, generally from when you take off until you land. The reason why this is really powerful to me is that a lot of times I have the attention span of like a flea. I joke with my friends all the time that I'm like a goldfish or a dog. The minute something happens, I'm like, huh, huh, huh. So finding a way for me to get into a real focus state is powerful. So I think if it works for me, it'll really work gangbusters for you. How do we put this through the lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You have to be aware that attention is fickle and that our brains, while sometimes annoying us, are really adept at picking up things for us to translate and decipher. We really love deciphering things. If it's compelling, our brain thinks it's worth deciphering. And if it's compelling, it's something our brains go to more and more. When you're trying to do work, that can be troubling. Execution. For this, I would look for an app on your phone called White Noise. White Noise replicates the sounds of that airplane on your phone, on your computer, or on your tablet so that you can plug them in your ears when you're trying to do something serious. 
Having that white noise sound mask everything that's happening around you will help you focus and almost pull you out of the world. It's actually kind of scary when you think about it. I've seen myself forget what time it is and focus directly on the work, even in an open office. That's how powerful it is. Direction. You have to be careful with this because sometimes you just might get carried away. Have a timer or have an alarm for work because trust me, once you get locked into this, it's going to be hard to pull yourself out. Give yourself an alarm to remember when to focus on that other work. We're leaders because we're attentive to the teams that we serve. We can't afford to just be locked into a problem all day. So be aware of the power of silence and the power of compelling content. Execute on getting this white noise app so you can block out distractions. And in terms of direction, make sure you set an alarm so you don't get too lost in your work. You still want to be active towards your teams. If you look in the description box, you'll find a couple of books that help me dive deep into emotional intelligence. They've had exercises, research, and deep dives that help me bring these concepts to you. This isn't a one-way conversation, and in fact, it's not a two-way either. We're part of a community, the Life as Usual community. And as leaders, especially creative leaders, emotional intelligence is something that we all need to get better at. We can reach out to each other through the comments section, through sharing this video, through liking it, and help each other talk about, build upon, and explore these concepts in these videos. Remember, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a student as well. Help me learn your perspective.